Everyone in this country knows a person who struggles with obesity. In the last 30 years, our society's eating habits have changed dramatically. And especially in patients with a genetic predisposition to weight gain, processed foods and larger portions have resulted in an obesity epidemic. By 2050, almost half of the adults in our country will be obese and one quarter of adults will be severely obese. So why is this happening? Each of us is born with a metabolic set point, a point at which our body is comfortable. As we gain weight, however, this set point changes and the heavier a person becomes, the harder it becomes to lose weight. Success with a diet or an exercise plan actually slows down your metabolism and increases hunger, which is why dieting doesn't work. Even if you're successful for a period of time, your own body will fight hard to regain the weight that you've lost. For most people, that weight is eventually regained. Let me put it differently. Let's say there are two people who both weigh 100 pounds, but one of them used to weigh 200 pounds and successfully followed a diet to lose weight. In order to keep their weight at 100 pounds, the person who used to weigh 200 pounds can only eat half as much as the person who has always been 100 pounds, forever. What's the bottom line here? Nobody wants to struggle with their weight, but unfortunately for most people with obesity, significant weight loss through a diet is next to impossible, not to mention maintenance of that weight loss. That's where surgery comes in. We define morbid obesity as the point at which a patient's excess weight begins to cause problems. Although each patient is different, this usually begins around a body mass index, or BMI, of 35. BMI is the ratio between a patient's height and weight, and this can easily be calculated at home or in the doctor's office. The higher your body max index, or BMI is, the more severe the obesity. Patients can qualify for bariatric surgery when their body max index is 35 or higher and they have medical problems related to their weight, or when their BMI is 40 or higher regardless of medical problems. Obesity can cause numerous other health conditions that negatively impact a person's quality of life and shortens one's lifespan. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, diabetes, joint pain, fatty liver disease, acid reflux, obstructive sleep apnea, infertility, and many others. Patients spend more and more time in the doctor's office and hospitals, and their out-of-pocket medical expenses can skyrocket. Even if a patient with obesity is otherwise healthy, they might find it harder to keep up with young children or a spouse and harder to participate in activities that they enjoy. Patients with a BMI of 50 or greater can expect to live nearly 14 years less on average when compared to patients with a normal weight. Bariatric surgery is the only effective medical treatment that can cure obesity. Surgery works to reduce your appetite and reset your body's metabolism. Instead of fighting, your body actually helps you lose the weight. Surgery is not a cosmetic or experimental procedure. It's an evidence-based treatment supported by the American Medical Association, the American Heart Association, the American Diabetes Association, the National Institutes of Health, and countless other well-respected medical advisory boards. Most patients who choose to have bariatric surgery lose between 60 to 80% of their extra weight in the first year. Patients experience a cure or significant improvement in their medical problems related to obesity. 90% of patients are successful in maintaining at least 50% of their weight loss long-term. We form a partnership with each new patient that we meet in the office. We want to know about your motivations in pursuing weight loss and then do everything we can to help you be successful. Our medical providers will listen to your medical history and goals and then tailor a period of nutrition counseling and surgical therapy that's unique to you. We'll set you up for long-term success by working on healthy lifestyle changes before you even come to surgery. In preparation for your procedure, we'll also arrange for a thorough medical evaluation to ensure you have the best possible outcome. You'll have an appointment with one of our providers on a monthly basis to track your progress. Depending on your insurance requirements, most patients are ready for surgery between three and seven months after their initial consultation. All of our surgeries are performed at Portniff Medical Center through a minimally invasive approach. Most patients are pleasantly surprised by their surgical experience and they're able to leave the hospital within 24 hours of their procedure. Patients follow a specialized diet after surgery to ensure proper healing and appropriate weight loss, and you'll see us in the office six times in your first year. 
Your safety during surgery is our highest priority, and complications during the procedure or during your recovery are exceptionally unusual. Patients are often surprised to hear it, but bariatric surgery has a similar risk profile to having elective gallbladder removal or a knee replacement. We have a highly experienced staff that works hard to give you the best care possible. Most of the patients that we meet in consultation will be a candidate for one of two operations, the gastric sleeve or the gastric bypass. Both operations are performed in a minimally invasive approach. Through the same five small incisions and the preparation and recovery are identical. The gastric sleeve is a newer procedure where around 80% of the stomach is removed, leaving a smaller tubular shaped stomach behind. While it may not be quite as powerful in resolving metabolic diseases related to obesity, the gastric sleeve is a shorter operation than the gastric bypass with a lower risk of long-term nutritional deficiencies. Most patients expect to lose around 60% of their extra weight in their first year following surgery. The gastric bypass is a more classic procedure with a well-established efficacy profile. A small pouch is made at the top of the stomach and this is connected directly to the small intestine, bypassing the majority of the stomach and the first portion of the small intestine. The gastric bypass is particularly helpful for patients with diabetes, patients with significant metabolic disease, and for patients with severe heartburn. Most patients can expect to lose around 70% of their extra weight in the first year following surgery. I became interested um, over the summer when I realized my health, health was really not very good and uh, because I have grandchildren and my quality of life just wasn't where I wanted it to be and I decided I wanted to feel better and in order to feel better I had to lose weight and get better and so that's what really made me interested in this procedure. They offer encouragement and set goals for you. So you're, you're not just sent off with a piece of paper to fill out when you eat something or weigh yourself on a scale. You're given concrete information and they test you and evaluate many things as you're going through it. And it's a very thorough evaluation. The relationship I've made with the bariatric team is one of almost like family because they're very close-knit. It's a small group and they get to know each one of their patients during the full hour that we have with each other every month and we go through a lot of things so I feel like they're part of my family now. I have heart disease with a pacemaker. I was overweight. My cardio doctor was concerned about my weight and she said hey we have a great bariatrics program why don't I refer you up to them? So I went. With the bariatric team at Portneuf, it has been amazing. They're friendly, they're very in tune with you. They make you feel like you're part of the team as well. They're super easy to talk to, ask questions, they're helpful. I can get a hold of them anytime. It's been great. The first year following surgery is an exciting time. Along with weight loss, patients experience an increased energy and immediate improvements in their medical problems related to their obesity. If you have diabetes or high blood pressure, you'll probably come off your medications within several days of surgery. We'll see you regularly in our office to ensure a smooth recovery and to make sure you're staying on track with your nutrition. Before surgery, I had peaked at a weight of 240 and it was hard to breathe. It was hard to keep up. Uh, my physical appearance was different than it had been when I was younger, high school and uh, undergraduate. I was in great shape. I was a coxswain on the crew team, so I was very tiny and uh, felt good about myself. So when this 30 pound weight gain annually started to creep up, I didn't understand what that was about. So uh, I lived with that until I was about 35 and then we were looking through and I actually had the surgery at 42 and I was able to get back to the things that I loved, uh, working out, exercising. I hiked and reached the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes, so I'm really proud of that. I've run marathons. I have uh, been a bodybuilder. And those are things that I couldn't do when I had that medical condition untreated. 
um, and it was great to get back to those because there's a huge mental aspect to the, um, to the surgery that I think a lot of people have to get through uh, and kind of get back into life. I appreciate that it's a personal choice and I appreciate there are a lot of fears going into it. Um, you know, really evaluate what's best for your health. Um, I'll tell you some of the things I got were, you're cheating. You know, um, what's wrong with you that you can't do it the traditional way, lose weight. Um, all of this kind of negative uh, reinforcement from external parties who don't understand what this quality of life is for you. Um, and it is a big step, so don't take it lightly because it is a behavioral change. Most programs, they make you go through six months of really getting into the habit of changing your diet and exercising. And if you can just hold on to that weight loss, whatever it is, they'll move forward. They do that for a reason because that's how your life is going to be afterwards. Um, look into yourself, make the decision for yourself about the influences of others. I had a great support system. My husband was amazing um, in being there for me. And, um, you know, I've submitted my before and after, and one of them is him with me and before. And we stayed together because of our value system, which was very strong. Um, but you've got to do it for you. Come into it with an open a uh, attitude and, and research, but I found researching Portniff's program, it was the best one for me, based on the team that they have and the information that they already have. The changes I have seen since surgery is I can hike seven miles without being out of breath, I can climb mountains, I can hang out with my kids, my back doesn't hurt anymore, my knees don't hurt, my walk is more pronounced and I get off my couch more. Once you've reached your goal weight, way to go and congratulations. But the story doesn't end there. We'll continue to see you on an annual basis to help you stay on track. Long-term success with surgery is about making good habits and sticking to those habits. For each patient that we care for, we keep your long-term goals in mind and we're here to help you get there. They have made every step of it very possible, and that's what I would tell people. If somebody was considering starting this journey at Portneuf, I would definitely tell them to just do it. The working with Krista and Jess has been perfect. It's, it's been wonderful from start to finish. Life on the other side is amazing. Uh, you will have ups and downs. There are some mental tough periods that you'll go through. Um, but it's worth the journey and I just think of my life over the past 13 years and the things I've been able to accomplish uh, It's been rich. It's been fulfilling and You know, there's some things that you still can't do and that's all right because I'm healthy I'm happy and uh, You know, I think that it can be a great quality of life game changer for people um, if they decide to take that step. It was the right choice um, and it really helped with all of the symptoms that I had that were pre-diabetic, um, all of the health concerns. It has really changed my life. It's been 13 years now and uh, I'll tell you it was the best choice ever made. You'll have an opportunity after watching this video to register for a consultation with our program. Whether this is your first time considering surgery or if you've been thinking about it for a long time, don't wait. We're here to help. We'd love to meet you.